Attention on deck, wake up. What's up everybody, Luis here. Hope you are all having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to buy your home and create your legacy using your VA home loan benefits that you work so hard at earning. I'm so happy to share all of this information with all of you because I believe that with the right information, the right mindset, some hard work, and a little bit of luck, everything is possible. We all know that thoughts are powerful and what you are thinking is so powerful and sometimes we forget to see that. Take a moment right now and think about what type of thoughts are going through your head. Are they thoughts of inspiration, hope, and financial freedom? Or are they doom and gloom, the world is falling apart kind of thoughts? Now, think about how those thoughts are being fed into your head. Is it mainstream media? Debbie Downer, Bad News Brian, or are they positive thoughts from inspirational speakers and authors that focus on personal growth and education? Personally, I'm a big fan of Ed Milet, Jocko Willink, Grant Cardone, uh, Goggins, of course, Joe Dispenza, and many more. And it's because they inspire me with positive messages because thoughts are powerful. What you think about, you become. So think about what you want and why you want it and then have that burning desire to accomplish it. Everyone watching this video can accomplish whatever they want. We live in the US, which is the greatest nation in the world. If you guys wanna own a home, you can do it. If you guys wanna start a family, you can do it. If you wanna write a book, you can do it. Many countries in the world prohibit this, not here. I believe in helping people create legacy. What's your legacy? What do you wanna leave behind? Today, I'm gonna help you with that and tell you that you can absolutely own a home. And every single one of you watching this video should own a home. And before I teach you exactly how to do it, let me take a moment to share a little bit about myself. I served as an 0481 Logistics Marine from 1996 to 2004. I worked beach landing and terminal operations, HSTs, uh, some air delivery operations. I was even blessed to go to jump school, which was a lot of fun. I worked hard and learned so much during my time in the Marines. When I was honorably discharged, I joined the mortgage lending industry, and this was around 2005. I've been helping my fellow veterans, active duty service members, and reservists for over 15 years. I've been ranked in the top 1% in my field and have closed hundreds of loans. I share this with the intent to give you some insight as to how experienced my team and I are. Having done this for so long, you kind of become an expert and that is exactly what we are. We've seen it all. We've made our mistakes. We made our errors in the past and we have learned from them, which is why we're ranked in the top 1%. We're fast. We're efficient. We close in 17 days. My team will get you initially approved where everything is verified, documents, credit, and all. We'll verify all of your information so that once you find the home that you love, we'll submit your offer and we will get you and your family into your new home. Huge side note. <laughs> Actually, question, how much does it cost to get pre-approved? It costs you $0 to go through this process. Let me run the numbers and I'll let you know exactly what you qualify for or what you need to do to get qualified. We've also teamed up with the number one real estate team in the area to help you. Do you guys know how much it costs to have a real estate agent help you when you're buying a home? It costs you zero because the seller pays. So enough about me and let's jump right into it. Whether you're actively looking to purchase using your VA home loan benefits or looking to refinance your VA loan, this video is a great start. Let me start by saying that home ownership is the easiest and fastest way to accumulate wealth. Last year, the average home appreciation was between 8% to 26%, depending on the market. And to put things into perspective, that translates to about $100,000 on a $400,000 purchase. But the market is crashing, interest rates are high, the economy is bad. You know what I call that? I call that fear-based thoughts. Demand is still up. And while appreciation has slowed down a little bit, it has slowed down to normal levels. We like this because now you stand a chance at getting your offer accepted without going into a bidding war against 40 other buyers and offering 200K over asking. In addition, the supply can't keep up with the demand. Baby boomers are living longer, so they need their homes longer. Millennials, as they enter their 30s, are lucky to get married, start a family. So guess what they need? 
a home. So this demand will not let up. In fact, it's only going to get worse because builders are unable to build fast enough, which means rents will continue to increase. And y'all seen it. I actually recorded a separate video on this topic and the link will be at the end of the video. And yes, there are other ways to accumulate wealth besides home ownership. For instance, you can play the stock market, but that gets a little bit tricky and it tends to be risky. <laughs> Uh, unless, of course, you're extremely knowledgeable in the subject. But if you're a normal being like myself, uh, it's not the best choice because how do you pick the right stock? I'm not saying that you should not or should invest in the stock market, but let me say it's not for everybody. Other ways to accumulate wealth are um, you can win the lottery or you can marry into it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> or you can invent the next big phone app. All that sounds amazing, right? But home ownership is probably the most accessible because after all, we all need a place to live and the VA home loan is the best program to help you with that. So what is a VA home loan? Well, it's a program designed right after World War II with the mission to provide a no down payment home buying option to veterans and active duty service members. It's a program specifically designed for you because you have earned it. Remember, you signed on that line which was dotted when you committed to your military service. Now, who remembers MEPS? Look, it was a blur to me, but the one thing I do remember was signing that blank check payable with and up to my life. And that is a big deal. You earned this. Now, let's talk about the VA requirements. There are a few things we will look at as required by the VA. Another huge side note, time out. The VA is not the lender. We are the lender. The VA insures the loan for you, the service member or veteran. So the VA basically vouches for you. Besides, we don't want the VA to be the lender. Can you imagine how long you would have to wait to get your loan if that were the case? So the first requirement we look at is to confirm your VA eligibility. First thing we do after you complete your loan questionnaire or application is to verify your eligibility. So my team will order your certificate of eligibility. Now you can pull this yourself by going to the eBenefits website, uh, which can sometimes be a nightmare. You know what I'm talking about. Or you can simply allow myself and my team to help. We have VA admin credentials that will allow me to pull it for you. But if you're still adamant, about doing it yourself, I created a tutorial that can guide you through it and I will put the link in the description. Eligibility. Since we have been in a wartime period since 1990, if you have served a minimum of 90 days of active duty, mm -hmm. you're eligible. Duty. If you were a reservist mm -hmm. or a National Guard, you will need to have served six years. And there's a drill point requirement. Oh, yes, I can help you figure all of that out. There are other exceptions, but these are the basic eligibility requirements. The next thing we look at is your income and credit. Credit is easy. The VA does not have a minimum FICO score requirement, but there are some things to look out for that may disqualify you. Once we pull your credit and review everything, we'll guide you on that. Next is income. VA requires a two-year employment history. There are exceptions. For example, if you recently started a job after graduating college or a technical school, we can use that time you spent in school in lieu of employment history. This is just one of the many examples of the exceptions that the VA offers. So who can get a VA loan? Well, the veteran or active duty service member on their own, the veteran or active duty service member with their spouse, the veteran or active duty service mm -hmm. member with another duty. active duty service mm -hmm. member or veteran, uh, and then finally, an active duty service member with a non-spouse or a non-veteran, but that will require a 12.5% down payment and it has a few caveats. So now that you understand the eligibility requirements, what makes the VA loan so special aside from the zero down, no FICO score requirements and the flexible income requirements? Well, to start, the VA home loan does not have any mortgage insurance. Typically, when you put less than 20% down, you must pay monthly mortgage insurance, which can really add up and have a big impact on your monthly payment. Two, VA has the lowest interest rates out in the market. Three, 
The VA does not have a loan limit. VA removed the cap on 100% financing. For example, I just closed a $3.5 million purchase with zero out of pocket. Hashtag true story. Don't ask me what the payment was because oh my God, it was up there. Fourth reason, the VA home loan is amazing. The VA is the easiest loan to qualify with no minimum FICO score requirement, high debt to income ratio allowance, and a very subjective employment history requirement. Number five. The Earl. Once you buy your home using your VA home loan and say the market interest rates drop, we can reduce your interest rate by doing something called an EARL, which stands for Interest Rate Reduction Refinance Loan. This is a special refinance that we can do and does not require an appraisal, income documentation, bank statements, and uh, in some cases, you can even skip two monthly payments. They're very easy to do. In addition, for that veteran that would like to tap into the equity and pull some cash out, the VA has some of the most relaxed guidelines out there, allowing close to 100% loan to value when other conventional programs cap out at 80% loan to value, meaning you can't pull out as much. You can use that money for whatever you want. You can make some home improvements to your existing home. You can buy another home and work on that legacy. You can pay off uh, high interest debt off or you can do whatever you want with it. It's your money. So now that you have a better understanding of this amazing program, let's address some of the misconceptions or VA myths. Number one, you can only use your VA home loan benefit one time. That is false. The VA home loan benefit is a lifetime benefit. You can use it as many times as you want. Now, there are strategies that can be used to reinstate your VA benefit after buying your home in order to buy the next one and work on setting up that passive income. Remember, we're talking about legacy here. Second myth is if you don't use it within a given time, you're gonna lose it. That is absolutely not true. I helped a Vietnam era army dog recently. And while it did take a little bit longer to find his DD-214 and certificate of eligibility, because they did not store these forms electronically then, it did take a little while, but we got it done and it was life-changing for him and his wife. Another myth is you can never rent your home out. That is absolutely not true. If you change duty stations, and you have to move, well, you can rent that home out and then have your tenants pay your home off. Next myth, you have to have perfect credit to qualify. Well, that is absolutely not true as well. Remember, the VA does not have a minimum FICO score requirement. Now, it doesn't mean that you can have horrible credit and qualify, but the VA is very forgiving and very flexible. Next myth, it takes 45 to 60 days to close a VA loan. Well, again, that's false. This is a misconception and it exists because there are lenders out there that do not specialize in VA loans. And they typically wait until the veteran is in contract to order the certificate of eligibility. And at that point, we're dependent on the VA turn times. And you know how that can be. This is why I ask that you fill out the application up front. We review everything to make sure that we are set. We do all the legwork ahead of time so that once you start shopping for your home, everything is clear and we can close your loan within 17 days. This short closing time gives you a huge advantage over other offers. Another myth is that the funding fee is expensive and it needs to come out of pocket at closing. Well, this is true and false. The funding fee is a bit expensive, but it does not have to come out of pocket at closing. It can be wrapped into the loan. Remember, this is how this program is funded and kept alive in order to help other veterans in the future. Huge side note, if you have a service-connected disability, then this funding fee is completely waived. So what's next? I'll tell you what's next. It's time for you to decide to stop renting and become a homeowner. Monthly rents are only heading to the moon. And when you buy a home, once you're locked into your payment, it will not change. That's not the case with rent. So make a decision. All you have to do is fill out our loan questionnaire. The link is in the description so that I can run the numbers and let you know exactly what you qualify for. We will process your questionnaire within 24 hours and get back to you with an action plan and set up some time to meet either in person 
over Zoom or over the phone. So take action today. There's no commitment and no consultation fee ever. I hope this information was useful. And if it was, hit the subscribe notification button so that you don't miss any of my videos. Your feedback is important. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I will talk to all of you soon in the next video. Bye now.